Zip Zap Zoom! I got this! Back at ya! Yep. Hey, got it! Oops! <laughs> Sorry, really? Bartleby. <laughs> Thanks, little helper! I got it! Oh, oops! Oh. And that's a ball off my head. Hi, Rainbow oh. King! You have a race car! No way! Say hello to my Rainbow Racer! Hi, Rainbow, Rainbow racer. racer! Why do you have a pumpkin racer? Once upon a moonbeam, my Rainbow Guard and I were a racing team. I still like to take it out for a spin to feel the wind in my cape. Uh, isn't that right, Rainbow Guard? Mm-hmm. And what fun it was doing a few laps around the kingdom. Hmm. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Bee? That it's time for Fishy Poof Crackers and a cuddly lap nap? You can nap later. First, let's build our own racer. Oh, I like that idea even better. <laughs> let's go! Bye-bye! I can't wait to see what they build. We're gonna build, build, build our own speedy machine. It'll be cool, 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 watching Glimmer and Glee. We'll feel the breeze, breeze, breeze blowing through our hair. Having fun, fun, fun without a single care. Driving, driving, we're all high-fiving, loud as thunder. It's no wonder it's full speed fun when we're with each other. Silver sparks. It's beautiful. You really like it? Oh, yes. Your car is so amazing. I'm announcing the Rainbow Kingdom's first Great Rainbow Rally. Yay! Oh, right. Yay! This is going to be fun. <laughs> Welcome to the Great Rainbow Rally. <laughs> Let's raise a rainbow cheer for today's racers. Racer number four, the Yetis. Hi. Racer number two, a Rainbow City bus. I'm a bus. Racer number five, mm. my rainbow mm. guard. Racer number three, the Forest Flower Kids. Racer number one, True and Bartleby. Racer number six, Princess Griselda. Yeah. Oh, hi, Griselda. Your car is so, well, Griselda-like. Thanks, True. My Grismobile is the finest luxury automobile around. It's built to be first, because there's no race without a winner. Well, I think the real winner is the one who has the most fun. It sure is, huh, Fuzzy Mice? Ooh, Fuzzy Mice, so fuzzy and fuzzy. Good luck, everybody! Mm -hmm. Happy mm -hmm. racing! Thanks, True. Racers, starting here, you will zip, zap, zoom all across the kingdom, following these special green arrow signs. First car to zip, zap, zoom back here wins! <laughs> so buckle up, Rainbow Racers! Get ready to roll! It's Great Rainbow Rally Time! Go, go, go!
to be racing. Well, welcome to the race. Been there. Done that. Been there. Done that. Hey, that's new. No, no, that's not new. Hold on a second, Bartleby. Rainbow King said we're supposed to follow the green arrow signs. These ones are red. <laughs> Watch, getting... Where did we last see a green arrow? That away. More of the green arrow signs point that way. So that way must be the right way. Hi, little helper. Could you spin that green arrow to point the right way for us? Thanks. Great rainbow racers. Follow us back to the race course. Uh -huh. <laughs> Interesting. A few crystals broke off. If someone dries over them, they could pop a tire or wipe out. Well, there's always something in the road to look out for. Let's go, Fruki. Oh, watch it! Racing, racing, everybody chasing! Never do that again. Ah! Is everyone all right? Hi! You betcha. Hey, this isn't my stop. Well, it isn't mine either. No complaining on the bus. <gasps> and I got a flat tire. True! What do we do? What do we do? Don't worry, everyone. True knows. You do, right? Because I don't. I really, really do. I really, really do. We're gonna fix it. Hey, a little more height on those jumps, please. Hey, can we get back in this race, please? There, good as new. Thanks, Drew. Happy to help. Now let's get back to the race. Was, um, that the only road out? Mm -hmm. Then we're trapped! Trapped! I've seen how this movie ends. Huh, I was gonna be the one who panics there, but she is nailing it. Do we need a wish now? Well, fixing a tire is one thing, but moving a giant heavy boulder? <laughs> yeah, we definitely need some wish help. Cumulo! <laughs> We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Faster, you mule. Faster. You're just in time for the race. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> so, how goes your race? Wait, if you're here, 
And you're not racing. That means... We have a big problem, Z. A bunch of racers are stuck at the bottom of a canyon. And the only path leading out is blocked. By a boulder that went... Whomp! Thunderbolts and lightning. Let's have a think about this. Oh, hold on. <laughs> we have a winner! <laughs> Come, let's sit and have a think about this. How do you think you can fix this problem? I need a wish that can help us get past the boulder so we can drive back up to the race course. <laughs> yeah, my fuzzy mice get antsy when we're not racing. <laughs> How big is this boulder? It's huge! So we're gonna need a wish to help us get it out of the way. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Interesting wishes these are. <laughs> Let's see what the Wishopedia tells us about their powers. Wish number one is size. Uh -huh. It's a wish that can make anything bigger or smaller. <laughs> you could help us get around the boulder by shrinking it down for us. Uh -huh. What a good second wish. Roper Roo. You can use this wish to lasso things and move them. That's great. If one of the cars goes in a ditch, we can pull it out with rope around. Yeah. And your last wish is cute Bigly. <laughs> it wiggles, it wobbles, and it's very springy. Hmm. I'm not sure how this wish will help me get the racers going again. <laughs> but I'll think of some way to use it. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Ready to go, Bartleby? Almost. What? I really like fuzzy mice. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Good luck. Happy racing. True. Did you think of a way to get us out of here? Did you? Did you? <laughs> Don't worry. I did. Boulder blocking the way? Mm -hmm. We have to make it smaller. to shrink down. I know. Sizer, shrink us down, please. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can't say I was expecting that. Come on, everybody. Let's drive. <laughs> This is a 
stop. No eating or drinking on the bus. Thanks, Sizer. I don't think this race can get any more fun. Are you sure? I was thinking you might want to turn driving. <gasps> You're the best, Drew! <laughs> I am. I really am. Now buckle up. So the pedal on the left is the gas, and the handlebar... <gasps> yeah! It's the forest flower kids. Hello. Bye-bye. I'm way ahead of the other racers, and that's good. But they're getting closer, and that is bad. I need more speed to stay in the lead. Activate the Grismo Turbo. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're all here. Hmm? <gasps> Except for the bus. Oh? oh, don't worry about me, True. Just stuck in a cactus. Ah, I'm stuck in a cactus. Get me down. Get me down. Yetis, you're big and strong. Can you get the bus down? <laughs> Whoopsie! If Yetis can't get her down, what can? A super strong rope wish. Roperoo, let's get pulling. Zip zap zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Roperoo. Wish come true. We need to make a lasso so you can help get the bus down. Can you do it? Yeah. <laughs> Is this gonna take all day? Uh, you can do it, Roperu. I know you can. Uh -huh. Oh! I'm feeling that squeeze. Careful. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Here we go! We're ready to roll! Great job, Roperu! Yes! A big thank you from me. And me! Hands on the bus! Time to go back in the pack. <laughs> All right, everyone. We have a race to finish! Faster, Grismo! Fast, fast, faster! <laughs> Help us. I can have Q Bigly cover Griselda's car and roll it away from the cliff. What if it falls? Well, it'll be surrounded by jelly and have a nice cushy landing. <laughs> Are you sure this will work, True? Because I'm very delicate. Yeah, delicate. Like a Yeti's toenail delicate. Q Bigly, we need a lot of jiggle. I choose you! Ooh. Wake up, Too Bigly! <laughs> Wish come true! <laughs> okay, Too Bigly, I need you to jiggle Griselda to safety. Ready? Here we go! <laughs> Griselda! Fly down as fast as you can and cover the Grismobile! 
King. Splendid! Now to celebrate with some royal nibbles and sips. Nibbles and sips? Mm -hmm. Everybody wins with those. <laughs> 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 Friendship Day. Okay, here we go. Barley skillful serve. Friendship Day slow ball showdown has begun. <laughs> oh, and True returns it with a stunning spiral swoop. Excellent elevation. I got it. Wait for it. Keep waiting. I call this the slow mo slow ball flip flop tail chop. Hi. Ah. <laughs> Great moves, Bartleby. <gasps> Where'd it go? <gasps> okay, not a problem. I'll get the ball and stay completely dry while doing it. Come on, Ball! Come to Bartleby. Ah! <laughs> Sorry I grabbed your tail, B, but I thought it was an emergency. It was. I almost got wet. But you would never let that happen, would you, True? Well, not on Friendship Day. Griselda? Ta-da! We're here to brighten your Friendship Day. You brightened it all right. You got a dimmer switch on that thing? Now that everyone's here, I have something to show you. Come on! So, for Friendship Day, I made you all friendship bracelets. Presents? Thanks, True. That's so thoughtful of you. Cool! We're all matchy-matchy. No one told me we give presents on Friendship Day. I would have got you all really good presents. You don't have to. I just felt like making friendship bracelets for my friends. And there are lots of different ways you can show you care on Friendship Day. Like baking Nimbleberry cookies to share. Want one? Oh, great. Now we're sharing, too. And friends look after each other, like, um, um, uh, when, when, when True saved me from getting wet. Here you go, Fruki. But I didn't make gifts or bake cookies or save anyone. I didn't do anything nice. When do I get to be nice? Well, we couldn't have Friendship Day without you. You were there for us when we needed you. Well, I am really good at showing up. Ow! Eee! A gravity grab! Get it off! <laughs> True, get it off me! Okay, hold still and I'll grab it. Yikes! Okay, give me a sec. There's gotta be a right way to remove a gravity grab. Uh, hurry! Yikes! It's a gravity grab snack attack! Save the snacks! Shoo, shoo! Oh. <laughs> Look out! Grippity is after your pretty neckerchief! Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey! The Grippities are taking all our fashion accessories! Since when do Grippity Grabs care about style? They don't, but they do like shiny things. In fact, legend has it, there's a giant Grippity Grab in the sea with a whole cave full of shiny treasure. So, if the Grippity Grabs like shiny things... Here, little Grippity. Want this? Problem solved. Oh, you saved me, True. You saved me. And 
And you gave up your bracelet to do it. You're such a great friend. It's no big deal. I'm just glad you're okay. I'm a great friend too. Just you wait and see. I'm going to get your bracelet back. Stop! I got the truth bracelet! Yeah, and my glasses! Yeah, numbleberry cookies don't work so well as sunglasses. Mm, but it tastes great. You come back here, you little grippities. You are ruining friendship day. Being a good friend is harder than I thought. Oh. I'll just make True a new, even better friendship bracelet. Out of extra special, super sparkly seashells. Handpicked by me. Patience, Fruitykins. We'll play as soon as I'm done being thoughtful. Ta-da! All done. Isn't it irresistible? Of course it is. <laughs> hey! <gasps> you must be that giant grippity grap who collects shiny things. <laughs> Look, I totally get liking pretty things. But I'd like my bracelet back now, please. <laughs> hey! Give it back! <laughs> Not a toy, you know. I made that for a friend. <gasps> oh? What? No, not you. A princess can't be friends with someone so shellfish. La 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 la. No fair. I can't swim that far. I'm not some fish, you know. <laughs> what did you just do? And why do my feet feel all floppy? <gasps> My perfect princess toes! How am I supposed to try on new shoes? I thought Griselda would be back by now. Let's go find her. Oh, that shouldn't be too hard. Just follow that bright light. Um, that's the sun, Bartleby. Oops. Um, hi, Mr. Sun! Happy Friendship Day! We should be able to follow Griselda's footprints in the sand. Good idea, Z. Let's go. Give it back! <laughs> I'm not used to having a floppy fish tail. Ha ha! Lol ha! Wait here, Frookykins. I won't be long. I just have to catch Grippity, get my friendship bracelet, and make him turn me back into a whole princess so I don't have to spend the rest of my life in the sea. Big bang boom! I'll be back soon. Ta da! Look at that shine! It's Griselda! With the giant Grippity Grab! The legend is true! <laughs> Griselda has a fish tail! <laughs> what happened, Fruki? Isn't it obvious what happened? Griselda would rather spend Friendship Day with a giant grippity than with us. Don't worry, Fruki. We'll take care of you. <sighs> well, the things we do for our friends. Yeah. Griselda would never leave Fruki behind. Especially on Friendship Day. I think Griselda needs our help. We have to go and save her. Wait, what? Like, go in the water? Yes, but since we haven't been turned into fish, we'll need Wish help. Cue Milo! Come on, Fruki. You too. To the wishing tree, please. Happy Friendship Day to you, too, Wishes. But there's no time to chat. Our friend needs our help. Right. Let's sit. And have a seat. <sighs> okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, we think a giant grippity grab turned Griselda into a... An extra shiny fish girl. So I need a wish to undo the spell and turn Griselda back into herself. And since Griselda is under the sea, I need a wish that will allow me to travel underwater. It's Friendship Day. We should all go and help. <laughs> as long as I can stay completely dry. All right. I need a wish that will take us all underwater. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time. 
time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. So this is Subba. Hi, Subba. Subba is an underwater wish. Subba gets big enough to fit all your friends inside and keep them dry. Oh, I like him. Best wish yet. That's perfect. Subba will help us all travel underwater to find Griselda. Boop, 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 boop. Your next wish is undo. Well, hello, Undo. Undo! This is a reversing wish. When it spins backwards over something, it undoes it. But Undo can only be used once. If this wish can turn Griselda back into a two-legged princess, then Undo only has to work once. And your last wish is... Shim Shim. Shim Shim has helped us once before. It's a wish that's really good at wiggling. Hello again, Shim Shim. That <laughs> tickles. <laughs> I'm not sure how wiggling can help save Griselda, but I'll think of something. You zip zap wishes in my pack. Now let's go get our friend Griselda. these floppy tails anyway. Excuse me, coming through. You can't get away from me that easy, Gribbity. Uh, this fishtail is supremely annoying. Uh, thanks? So you're giving me the bracelet back? <sighs> I guess not. <laughs> Poor little Fruki. You miss Griselda, don't you? But don't worry. We'll find her under all that water. Won't we, True? You bet. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, Zelda, can you help us out? Zappa! All aboard. Okay, Zappa, <laughs> into the sea. Everybody keep an eye out for Griselda. She should be pretty easy to spot with that shiny tail. Oh, oh, I see it. Are you behind that rock? Uh, that way, Zappa. <laughs> not her. It's a school of fish. All those fish are wearing the same tail as Griselda. She is not going to be happy with that. Hey, how are we going to spot Griselda if everything has a shiny tail? <laughs> Don't worry, Fruki. Griselda is down here somewhere. We'll find her. But how? It's not as easy as following her tracks in the sand. Right. She can't leave footprints. If she doesn't have feet... Griselda may not be leaving tracks. But giant Grippity is. Good thinking, True. Told you, Fruki. True will find Griselda in no time. Okay, Subba. Follow those tracks. La 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 la. No fair. Mm. You know I can't walk out of the water into <gasps> this amazing cave. 
Your home was almost as nice as my palace. So many pretty, shiny things! <gasps> Including me! I'm not a half-fish. I'm an adorable, glamorous, unbelievably cute mermaid! If only my friends could see me now! <sighs> I miss them, you know. Especially my best friend, Fruki. And Z, and Bartleby, and True. She's the one I made the beautiful bracelet for. You know how it is with friends. Uh -huh. oh. oh, maybe not. Huh? Oh, thank you! I have to give this to True for Friendship Day to show what an amazing friend I am. Shiny things. Wait a sec. Is this for me? <laughs> so you want to be friends? <laughs> All that chasing and hiding was just playing? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, of course, a princess and a grippity can be friends. We have so much in common. Uh -huh. We both love shiny things. Uh -huh. We both have beautifully decorated homes. <gasps> Next time, you can come to my house. I'll have my Grismos build us a water park, and we can decorate it together. Won't that be fun? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. After you turn me back into a princess, of course. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, no! Where's your magic thingy? Change me back. To himself? He was trying to help me and he got all tangled up. He was trying to help you? Like a friend? Well, yes. He really is my friend. A princess and a gribbity can be friends, you know. Griselda, I can only use undo once. If undo frees gribbity, I don't have a wish to turn you back. Then. <sighs> use the wish to free gribbity. What? what? We're friends now, and friends are always there for you when you need them, right? But what about you? Grippity is the one who really needs help. I'm fine. Um, Griselda, you may not have noticed, but you have a fish tail. It's a mermaid tail. And being a mermaid isn't so bad. But you have to live in water. Not a problem. I already have plans for a water park. And I could give Fruki swimming lessons. <laughs> she did not mean that. Griselda, are you sure? I'm sure. Let's do this. Okay, Undo. Do your thing. Woo! Undo!
Yondu. Now back in the pack. I knew you could do it, True. Thanks, B. Griselda, that was very generous of you. Are you sure you'll be okay being a halfish? Uh, I mean, mermaid? Well, it was nice having a super sparkly tail, and I was starting to get the hang of swimming. <laughs> but I do love my fancy shoes and running around with my little fruity kins. <laughs> Sorry, Griselda. I don't think my last wish can turn you back into a princess. <laughs> What's Grippity doing now? What's going on there? Oh, Grippity's magic thingy is inside that clam. His trident? The same one he used to turn you into a mermaid? Of course. But that clam clammed up and won't give it back. I think we can fix that. Time for my third win. Remember how Shim Shim tickled my arm in the wishing tree? I bet a little tickle can get that grumpy clam to loosen up. Um, I still don't get it. <laughs> See, you can't laugh with your mouth closed. Yeah. Oh my. So if the clam laughs, it'll open. Okay, Shim Shim, go away. Shim Shim makes the first move. The classic fast, slow, fast tickle. Oh, Clam blocks that move. There'll be no laughing today. Shim Shim is really upping her game. Clam is having a hard time ignoring the tickles. Shim Shim is tickling up, down, and all around and shows no sign of stopping. <laughs> oh, Clam can't take it in. And... <laughs> the Clam is open, folks. The Clam is open. Now it's all up to Grimmy to finish this. Here it comes. <laughs> Now back in the pack. Shim shim. It's all up to Grippity now. I have legs again! Thank you, Grippity. I knew you could do it. Good to have you back, Griselda. It's good to be back with all my friends. Now can we get back to celebrating Friendship Day up on the beach? I'm still a little nervous under the sea. Just a second, Grippity. For you, Grippity. You've earned it, my friend. <laughs> Thanks for the great ride, Saba. Now back in the pack. <laughs> What a great friendship day. We all really stuck together like good friends do. <laughs> okay, okay, stop it now. Okay, yeah. <laughs> We're friends, I know. Cut it out now. <laughs> I think the best thing is that Griselda started a new tradition for friendship day. I did? <laughs> Make a new friend. Yep, I am pretty awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so Griselda. The Living Sea. <sighs> Would you like a nice cold Zazuni juice, Bartleby? It's the best way to cool off on a hot day at the beach. Just don't get brain freeze. How can my brain freeze when my head's so nice and warm, True? <laughs> brain freeze is what it feels like when you drink cold drinks too fast. So sip it slowly. <laughs> Tail freeze! Tail freeze! Tail freeze, are you anyone? I got it, B! <laughs> Good, fantastic. <laughs> I'll go see if Rainbow King and his guards want some. It needs a grand entrance where I can welcome my visitors and plenty of windows to see the kingdom from. Oh, and don't forget the balcony. Oh. That's where I address my citizens. Oh. Thirsty, Your Majesty? Ah, oh, yes, thank you, True. My castle builders could use a break. Ice cold Zazuni juice. Oh. Oh. Mm. Don't drink it too fast, or else you'll get oh. brain freeze. <laughs> <Oops>. <laughs> oh, oh, hey. 
Ooh, a royal brain freeze. Oh, very refreshing. <laughs> so what do you think? Does my sand castle look like my real rainbow castle? <laughs> Whoa, I can hardly tell them apart. Uh, what? Bartleby, did you finish the rest of the juice? <laughs> huh? What, me? No, what? Did I? Wait, let, let me check. No shivers, no chills, no brain freeze. Nope, wasn't me. Oh, hey, hey! A sea blob? Oh, you're so cute. Did you drink all our juice? <laughs> it's okay. I bet you just wanted to cool off a bit. Then let's go for a swim. Yeah, this shade sure does the trick. A sea blob that doesn't want to go in the sea? That's not sea blobby at all. Blah, 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 blah. Whoa! Blah. I almost got blobbed big time! This is most unusual. Sea blobs hardly ever leave the water. Hmm. <gasps> the water's not cool at all. It's warm. Really warm. They're just trying to cool off in the shade. Maybe something's wrong with the living sea. Well then, we'd better check on it. Follow me. Come on, Barbie. Huh? <laughs> Wait up, guys! You know the living sea? Oh yes, we go way back. I knew it when it was just a little puddle. <laughs> Oh, wide and wonderful living sea, I ask that you please meet with me. Whoa. Rainbow King, how good to see you. These are my friends, True and Bartleby. They're very eager to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. The living sea doesn't look very lively today. If you don't mind me asking, um, you're... Wetness? Are you feeling okay? The heat. It makes me sleepy. Heat makes me sleepy, too. The living sea must be part cat. But your water is always cold, even on hot days. That is correct. A family of ice stars keep me nice and cool. Ice stars? Yes, they keep the living sea cool. Just like the ice cubes in Bartleby's Zazuni juice. They really do. <laughs> you can find them out in the deep water. But I am not feeling them today. Shocking pink! If something happened to the ice stars... Then the living sea would get warm. Too warm for the sea creatures to live in. We'll go and check on the ice stars right away. Oh, that would be most appreciated. You're welcome. We're gonna need a blubber sitter soon. Our poor sea friends. I must try and cool them down. Good idea, Your Majesty. And while you do that, Bartleby and I will find the ice stars. Mm -hmm. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> Hi, Cumulo. Let's fly out over the deep water of the living sea, please. Bye-bye. Water, water everywhere! The living sea should really be called the mega gigantic humongous sea. I guess your point is it's a really big sea. <laughs> huh? Hey, but I do see a couple of sailboats. <gasps> Those aren't sailboats. They must be ice stars. What do you think would happen if I lick one? <laughs> you probably get the biggest brain freeze ever. <laughs> <laughs> they should be making the water cold. Are these ice stars working okay? I'll just give them my cat's paw test. Brr! Paw freeze again! Meow. Hey, but didn't the living sea say there was a whole family of ice stars? Hmm. It is a big sea. Let's keep looking. That's it. A gentle breeze will cool you off. Huh? Careful now. 
there's enough shade for everyone. <laughs> oh, my. Now there's no shade for anyone. <laughs> oh. Are you all right, my little sea blob? <laughs> well, that was lucky. <laughs> We're going to have to find a new way to keep you shady and cool. <laughs> hmm. That gives me an idea. No ice stars this way. No ice stars that way. No ice stars every which way. Whoa, I'm getting dizzy. I might... Oh, oh. I've got you, Bee. Phew. Wait, I see one. Oh, no. This is the ice star from earlier. I can see your paw print. Yeah, right. Wait a minute. There were two ice stars here before. Where'd the other one go? I don't know. We've looked everywhere and we still didn't find the other ice stars. And now we've even lost one. We need to figure this out and fast. Time for some wish help. Cumulo, to the wishing tree, please. True, Bartleby, over here. Fern, engage blowing. <laughs> That's a fun way to keep cool. Fun and useful. I'm preparing the wishes for all types of weather. Windy weather, freezing weather, and sunny weather. Oh, so they'll be ready for all kinds of weather when they go out into the rain <laughs> kingdom with me. Exactly. That one's getting used to the cold. Don't get brain freeze. Oh, well, it passes. And this wish is getting used to hot, sunny days. Uh-oh, look out! Whoa! Whoa! I gotcha! <laughs> you okay, little buddy? Are you here to cool off, too? Actually, Z, we have to cool off the whole living sea. The ice stars are missing. Oh, no. So the living sea is getting warmer. The sea blobs are leaving the sea to cool off on the beach. That is serious. Let's have a think about this. We've been all over the living sea looking for the ice stars. But we couldn't find them. So maybe they went under the sea for some reason. That's very possible. So we need a wish to help us search underwater. And then we need to make sure the living sea stays cool until we can get the ice stars back on the job. Good thinking, Drew. You've got a plan and you're ready to do it. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about their powers. Your first wish is... Chillsy. It is a freeze wish that blasts super cold beams to flash freeze anything. That's perfect! It'll help us cool down the living sea until we can find the missing ice stars. Are you up for chilling the sea, Chillsy? <laughs> That's a yes! But keep my tail out of this. Hasn't it shivered enough today? <laughs> Your next wish is... Bubba. It's an underwater wish that can help you breathe underwater too. We've already searched above the sea. To search under it, we'll need all the help we can get. Yeah, the only time this cat touches water is if I'm out of Zazuni juice to drink. Yeah, no offense. <laughs> <laughs> For your last wish, you have Whomping. It's a stomping wish. Nothing makes it happier than Whomping and Stomping. I don't know how a stomping wish will help us find ice stars, 
but I'm glad to have you on board. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Good luck, True Mortal Bee. Thanks, Z. Hey, look! There's a new sandcastle on the beach, and this one's even bigger! It looks like the Rainbow King found a way to cool off the sea flubs. <laughs> yes, I'm delighted that they're finally comfortable now. But if the living sea doesn't cool down soon, it's going to get very crowded in there. We haven't found the Ice Stars yet, Your Majesty. But we have our three wishes to help us. Let's go, Cumulo. There it is! I'd know my paw print anywhere. Poor Ice Star. Cooling the living sea all by yourself. We've brought you some help. All right, Chillsy. It's time to chill the living sea. See how far you can ice things over. Full power! <laughs> Great job, Chelsea. You can chill out now from all your chilling. Come on. Come on. Oh, so much better. <laughs> Thank you for the chill, True. You're welcome, Living Sea. But you're so big, we can't freeze all of you. It helps quite a bit. But without my ice stars, I cannot stay cool. We'll find the rest of the ice star family. I promise! <sighs> You keep looking for ice stars above the living sea while Bartleby and I look under it. Or, just thinking out loud here, Cumulo and I could stay up here. No soggy, drippy kitty that way. <laughs> oh, well, catch the cat again. <laughs> ah, tail freeze again? Are you kidding me? I am not having a good tail day. Ah. Aww, another sea flub. I bet you want to be in the colder water here. Hey! Ah! 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 Careful! We just made that ice! Aw, and I guess you want someone to play with, too. Why, oh why, do other creatures find me so irresistible? You are pretty cuddly, Beef. Why don't you keep little Blubby company while I go see if the missing ice stars are underwater? Bubba, time to do your stuff! Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bubba! Wish come true! Hi, Bubba. Let's go under the sea. Good luck, True! Aw, don't worry, Ice Star. I'll find the rest of your family. A rope? What's a rope doing under the sea? <gasps> the ice star's being pulled away! Someone's taking it! La -dee -da -da now isn't this better than jumping around and cracking all the ice? <laughs> Do I look like a ball here? Put me down! Uh-oh! I forgot to say gently. Oh, look. The last ice star is leaving. The last ice star is leaving? That's bad. And this is worse. Hold me! Sea Blob, where are you going? What am I worried about? Ninja kitties can jump from ice floor to ice floor, right? 
One, two, Ninja Cat, go! Hiya! Ha! 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 Two! Must stay dry! Must stay dry! Must stay dry! Huh? You're dry! Ugh. Oh, true! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'd hug you, but, well, you have a big Baba helmet on. It's awkward. We'll have a big hug later, B. Okay. Right now, we have a nice star to catch. Cumulo! <gasps> did you find any more ice stars, Cumulo? Mm -hmm. Neither did I. But I know what's going on now. The missing ice stars didn't sink or float away. They're being taken away. Taken? Why would someone want to take an ice star? I'm not sure. That's what we're going to find out. Bubba, thanks for helping me underwater. <laughs> I know the ice star went this way, but I don't see it anymore. Hey, maybe my sea bug buddy saw it. <laughs> yes! Follow that pointing flipper. Look, there's a clue. A raft and some paddles, and they're still wet. This must be where they brought the ice star. <laughs> well, something's making it cold around here. Do you hear that? <laughs> the ice stars! They're all here! They are! <laughs> Me, yo! It's okay. We didn't mean to startle you. I'm True, and this is Bartleby. They're wondering how we found their cove, and I'm wondering how I know that. Bartleby, you speak rockish? <laughs> well, a little. I mean, you know, cats are very good talkers. We followed you here. Are you the ones who moved the ice stars? They say they brought the ice stars here to cool down their home. They really like to play on the ice. But the ice stars belong in the living sea. Without them, it's too warm for the creatures who live in the water. <laughs> they say they're sorry. They just wanted to freeze the lagoon and go skating. They didn't know they were warming up the living sea. <laughs> But they sure cooled things down in here. All the ice stars in one spot might be too much, Chill. We have to move the ice stars out of here. Come on, everyone. All right, everyone, get ready. And pull! It's frozen solid. <laughs> we'll never get the ice stars out of here until things warm up again. And we only have one wish left, Womp It. How can a stomping wish help us warm up the canyon? Hmm. Wait. Maybe we don't need warmth. When the living sea was frozen, do you remember how the sea blub bounced on the ice and cracked it? Yeah, and then I almost got wet. Oh, yeah. Cats, don't forget stuff like that. Wompit could do the same thing. Uh. It can stomp and stomp until all the ice breaks. Then the ice stars will be free and we can get them out of here. I am stupid yeah! with joy at this idea! Time for some wish help. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Wompit! Wish come true! Okay, Wompit. Ready to stomp it? Let's get stomping! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're jumping up and down! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're stomping all around! With the Wompit Bam Slam, can you hear that sound? It's the Wompit Bam Slam of our big feet on the ground! Wow. Jumping up, jumping down! Paws are up, paws are down! Huge hop, Wompit Ball! Keep on going, don't you stop! With the Wompit Bam Slam, all smiles on a frown! With the Wompit Bam Slam, we're breaking it down! Time to get the Ice Star family back home to the living sea. How does the water feel now? Blop, blop. All nice and cool again. <laughs> <laughs> when winter comes and my surface is frozen, 
The rock creatures are welcome to come skating on Made True. Thank you, Living Sea. Did you hear that? La -da -da -la -da -da. Oh, it is such a relief to feel cool again. I feel a wave coming on. named Griselda is glamping these days. I still can't believe she agreed to come with us. There's dirt here. <laughs> you know camping is supposed to be roughing it, right? Oh, believe me, I know. I didn't even pack my sparkly bubble wash. Isn't that right, Froogie? <gasps> A puppy? Just the helper I need to find my long-lost treasure. <laughs> Want a snack? I brought sparkly sandwiches. Who packed these? Those are glamwiches. They're tasty and gorgeous. Just ask my fruity kins. He loves them. Nibbles time. Fruity, <laughs> glampers don't scamper. Hey. <laughs> Fluffy, there's nothing better than a puppy, puppy, a puppy, I say. So fluffy and sniffy, snuffing out treasure in a jiffy. Come get your glam witch. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, true puddles. He definitely went in here. No, my snuggle pops will get lost in this big, horrible, nasty. Maze, it's a maze. Nasty, it's breathtaking, and you can't go in. Don't worry, True. I'll find a little drill machine in here. Somewhere. 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 Who are you? Oh, clearly you've never heard of a maze troll before. We're meanies. Though, when I'm not guarding this maze, I'm actually quite nice. Why would anyone build something so unglamorous? <laughs> to hide my precious treasure from those who would try and steal it. But now my precious treasure's in there. For good reason. <laughs> Between you, me, and the tree, I built this maze so big and tricky that no one can find my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Not even me. But a dog with nose powers. Oh, your puppy pooch will find my treasure for sure. Mr. Troll, both our friends are in there now. We have to find them. <sighs> Fine. But the only way to enter my maze is to solve a riddle. How many berries from these baskets of plenty can you eat before your stomach is no longer empty? Oh, I'll find out. Wait, Griselda, we have to count them as you eat one by one. By one? <gasps> the answer is one. What? That can't be right. I've eaten way more than one berry. The riddle said, how many berries can you eat before your stomach's no longer empty? If you eat one berry, it's not empty anymore. Riddle sticks. That is correct. Oh, you may enter. <laughs> But first, let me give you a sneak peek inside. Whoa. Whoa! Fantastic, isn't it? One hallway becomes more hallways. Then doors begin popping up. Pretty soon, everything's all twisty and turny. And where will that leave you to? Lost! Hopelessly! 
as I said, you are free to enter. But that doesn't mean you can stay in. Ooh, <laughs> I just gave myself a shiver saying that. <laughs> I am such a good meanie. What do we do, True? We'll never find Fruki and Bartleby in that maze. Don't worry, Griselda. We'll get them out of there. But we need some wish help to do it. If you're going to the wishing tree, then I'm coming too. You bet you are. The only way we can do this is if we do it together. Oh, Cumula! <laughs> to the wishing tree, Cumulo! <laughs> Griselda. The Wishes and I are camping. <laughs> These three have even earned their merit badges. <laughs> camping sure is fun. Are we still talking about that? Camping was so five minutes ago. We're actually not here about camping. We're here about a maze. A maze? Ooh, I love puzzles. It sounds like fun. It's a giant maze that Fruki and Bartleby are trapped in. Oh, that's a lot less fun. Let's sit and have a think about this. No thanks. Princesses don't sit on mushrooms. Ah, put me down! Stay calm. Ah, shh, shh. You'll be okay. The mushroom will come back down. Eventually. How can the wishing tree help, True? Well, this maze is really tricky. Ah. Walls that move around and everything. Ah. We need a wish that can keep us from getting lost. Help! I'm stuck up here! Stuck? Yes! If we get stuck in the maze, we'll need a wish to help us get unstuck. Thanks, Griselda. Ah! You're welcome. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. These are some fantastic wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish is Dot Spot. It can make as many dots as you need. Perfect! We can use Dot Spot to find our way back out of the maze so we don't get lost. We'll just follow the dots. Polka dots are fabulous. This is a wish with style. Your second wish is rope room This rope wish is a great help for when you need to climb things or to tie things together. That might be handy for pulling us out of a tricky spot. Yeah. And lastly, you have Slothby. A rare and oh. unusual wish indeed. This wish can put anything into slow motion. That's incredible. <laughs> I'm just not sure how slowing things down can help save our friends. I'm sure you'll find a way, True. I have to agree. And I'm always right. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. <laughs> Bye, Z. Have fun with your camping whatever. Good luck, you two. I'm sure you'll do amazing. <laughs> Skills are set for awesome. Fruki! Oh, am I happy to see you! Yeah, 
I was happy to see you. Ugh. Okay, now careful where you step around here. This maze is filled with booby traps. Run! And we're trapped. Huh? Uh -huh. Hey! Hey, get back here! Fruki, we have to get out of this maze! Here, yeah, Kiki, give me a boost. Fruki, this is no time to be sitting on your behind. <laughs> yeah! I take it back. Your behind is the best. <laughs> to find the right ones. But before we can go any further, let's make sure we can find our way back out of this maze. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Pretty dark spot! Wish come true! Phew. Dot spot, can you leave a trail of dots behind us as we walk? rub a Whoa, sparkly pink? It's like he knows me. Nice troll part of me would just leave these dots. But I need that dog to find my long lost treasure. So, mean troll it is. One big giant dot? Rabadoo! Thanks, Dot Spot. That troll's gonna have fun trying to pick up this dot. Come on! <laughs> huh? A big dot? Like that? <laughs> Stop me! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Spooky, hold on! We'll never get out of this maze if we get stuck. Okay, I'll go first, then you. What did I just say? Ah, troll! Whew, it's just a door painted like a troll. Eee! Ah, troll! Oh, just another freaky troll door. This one's worse than the last. I get that a lot. <laughs> to keep going through my maze, you need to answer another riddle. If you don't solve the riddle by the time this bird bath sinks into the floor, you must leave my maze forever. <laughs> riddle us your riddle, Mr. Troll. We're ready. It's the part of the bird that's not in the sky. It can go in the bird bath, and yet it stays dry. What is it? Oh. It can go in the bird bath, yet it stays dry. Maybe it's a smelly armpit. Oh, I can't get a good look at it. Quick, try catching it. This bird is too quick. We have a better chance of catching its shadow. Shadow? The bird is in the sky, but its shadow is on the ground. And 
that Shadow can go in the bird bath and not get wet? I know what the answer is. It's Shadow. Riddle sticks. Right again. Yay! You may pass. Again. But I'll be around every corner to give you more riddles until you finally give up. See you soon. I mean, see you soon. How are we ever going to stop this troll from stopping us? Let's think about this. We need to get away from him. But he knows this maze inside out. Yeah, he's sneaky. We just have to slow him down enough so we can catch up to Fruki and Bartleby. And I have just the wish. Sloppy. Guess who's back? Who would that thought? Let's put the brakes on this riddle ridiculous troll. <laughs> huh? Huh? Here's your next riddle. What jumps in the air? But never <laughs> you! <laughs> Ta ta! Slowpoke. Stay with him, Slothby. And keep him nice and slow. Way. <laughs> you couldn't have waited until I went through first? Princess is first! You know that! <sighs> He's color! Blech. Remind me to add this to the Grismo's laundry list? <laughs> Froki! Where are you, my smelly color kins? Smelly's with me! Over here! Wherever here is! Bartleby! We're coming! Must block them! Furby, we're coming! Uh. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh, Bartleby! <laughs> what is with this crazy maze? So frustrating! <laughs> Fruki, now is not the time for... Wait, your behind saved us last time? Keep going! Work that tail, boy! <laughs> you did it! Uh-oh. Ah! Fruki! Bartleby? True! I am so glad to see you! Did you miss me? <laughs> of course, Bartleby. Are you two okay? Yes, but we're trapped down here and Fruki's thinking about giving more drooly kisses. Help! We'll get you out right away. Oh. Sloppy. Oh, no, you're out of power. That must mean... <laughs> <gasps> yes, it's me again. No more riddles for you two. I'm kicking you both out of my maze. Now! Hold on. This pit. I remember now. This is where I buried my treasure. <laughs> the doggy found it! Oh, my magic shillelagh! Riddle sticks! I can't get them out of that pit without my shillelagh! I am not leaving this awful maze without my frugikins! Do you understand me? Yes! Wow, you'd make a really good maze troll, you know that? Oh, don't worry, I have a wish that can help get everyone out of there. I need your roping help to pull our friends out of this pit. Can you help us? Oh, sure. Rope, 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 rope! Grab on, you two! Got it! Why are we moving? Fruki, let go of that thing! No! It's my treasure! He's got it! Your treasure is no good if our friends can't bring it up because they're stuck down there! Oh, this is all my fault. I need to fix this. I'm coming to save you, Poochie. <laughs> and me. <laughs> yes. 
turtle sticks. Now I need a new shillelagh. <sighs> and I'm not strong enough to do this on my own. Yeah, that dog has jaws of steel. Mr. Troll, we can help each other out of this mess. You oh? want us to work with him? He's been trying to stop us all day. The only way we'll get everyone out is by working together, Griselda. Uh. You got it! Ready, Roparoo? <laughs> Ready, Griselda? Uh-huh. I wish working together didn't mean having to hold a stinky feet. Ew! I watched them just last year. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's never good. Uh oh. No! Grab my hand! Come on, drill machine! Let's go! Pull with me, Roparoo! We can do this! Uh huh. Working together did the trick. I knew it would. Your treasure's a dog bone? Yeah, a dog bone. That's why I needed a puppy to find it. <gasps> you put my precious Fruki through all of this just to get a little glittery dog bone? You are a meanie. <laughs> You're right. I've been such a meanie to you today. It's just to stop people from coming in the maze and getting lost. <laughs> I hope you can forgive me. Ah, <laughs> oh, here, this is for you. You kept saying you were a mean troll, but you can be a nice one, too. You just gave your treasure to my oh. treasure. <laughs> How can I resist this little cutie? I suppose it wouldn't hurt if you visit Fruki now and then. Really? Oh, thank you. Princess group hug! Oh. Uh, how are we gonna get out of here? Oh, that super sniffer! Hey, glamping! What's glamping? It's sparkly. You'll like it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> the Nine Eye Tree. Looks like we're officially ready for Camp Out Yeti style. Almost officially ready. Nope, too hard. <coughs> too soft. <coughs> too leafy. <coughs> ah, oh, that's just right. <laughs> Maybe too good a job. Hmm, I think this cat nap needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, Erg! Hi! Hi! <coughs> Bye! Tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Ooh. And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> Great. Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have Everything looks good enough. 
enough to eat. That was delicious. Thank you. Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? <laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything. <laughs> <laughs> including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh, I was right. Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast Nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. <laughs> oh, the Yeti's only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! Ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Nummelberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mm, now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> Always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a Nine Eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. <laughs> oh, the Yetis have been using the Nine Eyes for thousands of years. <laughs> It helps them feel safe at night. It's too bad the Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights, like those ones up there. Hey, that gives me an idea. Yay! Yay! Look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yay! I'll call them. Oh, Yetis! Yetis! We found some nice lights for you. <laughs> <laughs> It. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls. Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright Nine Nine lights. No! <laughs> the Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those Nine Eyes to feel safe. Oh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know, but those Yetis won't be able to go night night without their Nine Eyes. Let's just turn those Nine Eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. We can't turn them back on? We have to get new ones from the Nine Eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? Those lights are nice, but they're too small. And not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more Nine Eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where's the Nine Eye tree? <laughs> deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? Oh, so really deep. 
Can you show us the way? Huh? Don't be scared. Don't worry. We'll be fine. We'll stick together. And I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. <laughs> to the wishing tree, please, Cumulo! Thanks, Cumulo. Back in a minute. Z, the camp of night is ruined. True, Bartleby. Is everything all right? I heard howls. No, everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their Nine Eye lights, and now everyone is upset. <gasps> they put out their Nine Eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know! First things first, let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. First up, we have Woglow. Hi again, Woglow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woglow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never-ending forest at night dark? Don't worry, Bee. Woglow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh -huh, that. <laughs> Bumbershoot. Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Grabadiddy, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Grabadiddy! Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Let's go find the Nine Eye Tree. Oh no, we don't have any wishes to help the Yetis. Oh, I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks! <gasps> okay. Ooh, is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yeti stay calm until you get back. Great idea! Let's go! Hi! Hi, Yetis! This is my friend Z. He's here to help. Hi! Um, hello. True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But uh, all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? <laughs> <laughs> Here 
to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! <laughs> I'm here to bring you Light! <laughs> Observe. <laughs> Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woglow! -Glo. Wish come true! Hi, Woglow. -Glo. Can you light up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh, things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, Drew? Sure, B. How about a little rest, Woglo? Woglo! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. <laughs> It's just this cute little flower's shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax. Don't do that shadow thing again, K-True. Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine wool glow on my hands. Hey, it's me. I'm famous. <gasps> Rainbow King. <laughs> Daffodil, I'm so pleased you like my shadow puppet show. <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woglow. Woglow! Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. ah! Nope, not that. <laughs> uh, yes, pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. <laughs> and celestial part. Uh, I mean, star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. Hey, 
Hey, Snick, my paws are getting kind of tired. Is that nine nine tree close by? Ooh! Lola! Lola! Well, I guess that's the nine eye tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglo. Woglo! Now back in the pack. Uh, true. Why is the nine eye tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> Snick says the nine eye tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even nine eye trees go to bed. So how do we wake it up? Nine eye. <gasps> the nine Look at all those nine eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we going to get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine eyes. Uh huh. Ooh, uh -huh. Let's get grabbing, grab a ditty! Grab a ditty! water on the nine eye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Mm. Is it okay if we borrow some of your nine eyes? Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you, nine eye tree. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, nine eye tree. Nine eye. Nine -eye. <sighs> I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's true, Bartleby and Snip. Hi, we're back. Hi, <laughs> now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> Well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions, we didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? It's 
Russell's birthday And we're gonna drop a birthday beat for you Got my invite, so excited Got a present, can't wait Hey, you Grismos, get my apron There's a big cake to bake It's my royal proclamation That we all celebrate Our favorite person in the kingdom So let's make her day great It's my birthday My best birthday And I get to share this special day with you <laughs> Happy birthday, Drew Aw, thanks, Bee Okay, are you ready for an amazing birthday? Of course Wait, I still have so much to do for the party tonight. No, you don't. Cuz I planned your whole party. Really? Yep, it's my gift to you. I'm gonna make sure you have the most amazing birthday ever. You won't have to do a single thing today, True. Aw, B, you're the best. I know, but we've got some serious birthdaying to do. Let's get going. It's my birthday. Ready for a treat? I made something extra special. Guess what it is? <laughs> it's you! Yeah! I call them Bartle Biscuits. I got the idea from the mirror. <laughs> hmm, which part should I eat first? My ears, of course. Good choice. Hey, this kind of tastes like strawnilla. <gasps> Are we having a strawnilla cake at my party? You'll have to wait and see. With wiggly jiggly jelly and bubble chew icing? Mm hmm. Yeah. And as your best friend, I of course knew you'd want all those different flavors together. It's definitely not just a basic mellowberry cake. Aw, uh -huh, B. You know me so well. Can I borrow your face bubble thingy for a non birthday emergency? Sure. Here, have another Bartle biscuit. Try eating it as loud as you can. Oh, loud enough? Griselda, answer my face bubble. Griselda, we have a birthday emergency. <gasps> you ran out of glitter balloons? No, we need to change the mellowberry cake into a straw nilly wiggly jiggly jelly bubble chew icing cake. Oh, that's no problem. Baking isn't hard. All you need is a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh, uh. But you don't have a recipe. Princesses don't need recipes. We're amazing at everything we do. Right, Grismos? Uh, okay, but don't forget the cake is the most important part of our party. Obvi, that's why I'm in charge of it. Okay, Grismos, you heard Bartleby. Mellowberry's out, and Stranella Wiggly Jiggly Jelly Bubble Chew icing is in. Where's my super fast ever rise powder? Let's add more. More is better. <laughs> Good with the decorations? Okay, great. Talk to you soon. All aboard the Mushroom Town Birthday Express. Hey, yeah! Everyone's on their way? You bet. Right on schedule. Great! Hey, Bingo Bango! You know the way, right? You turn left at the never ending. That is a yes. Who's ready for ice cream lunch? Ice cream for lunch? We can do that? Sure, it's your birthday. Let's put the scream in ice cream birthday lunch. Perfect. Ready to bake. Uh, uh. Oh, what are you Grismos doing? Step aside. This needs a princess's delicate touch. Uh, uh. Baking would be hard if I wasn't so good at it. Okay, Bartleby. I think that's enough. Just one last thing to top it off. A fishy poof cracker. Whoa. Mm. Now I can't wear the 
dress to my party. Ah, uh, you weren't gonna wear that anyway. Cause we're gonna get you a new outfit! Really? But only after you finish all your ice cream. Challenge accepted. No, 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 no. This simply won't do. We need to make it pop. Because all together, more is better. See? Birthday! 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 Nothing's going to stop this express bus to True's birthday party. Except for this delicious goo. Hey, what's the hold-up? I gotta get to True's party. Pardon me, I have a party to attend. Can you please move it along? Yeah, well, what's going on? Okay, this is perfect. Ready to see my new birthday suit? Is it as cute as mine? I love it! In that fabulous outfit, you are going to rock this party. What's that? I don't know, but we better go check it out. What's going on? A traffic jam? Juice party bus! Oh, hello, Rainbow City bus. Shouldn't you be on your way to someplace very important? Mayhaps? Well, I should, but as you can see... <laughs> I'm stuck in this delicious goo! It does smell yummy. It is yummy! And it tastes a lot like bubble chew icing. Griselda! Oh. Well, that's wiggly and jiggly enough for a regular cake eater. But this cake needs to be princess level wiggly jiggly. More is better. Hey, Griselda, do you know anything about some bubble chew icing traffic jam? Bartleby, I'm in the middle of making the most important cake of my career. I need my space. I'll talk to you later. But Rot Toodles! Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Ah! Ah! Whoa! Whoa! Birthday! 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 Whoa! Everything's shaking! Bartleby! Look! The trees! They're falling! <gasps> we need to go see what's going on! Oh! True, we got it. Um, uh, what, what about the. Come on, Bartleby. Ah. We'll be right back to help you out. Stay put. I hope all the forest critters are okay. I'm sure the forest critters are fine. You don't really need to do any hero stuff today, do you? I don't know, B, but let's go and check it out anyway. Huh? Is everything okay? <laughs> These trees are blocking your path? Hmm. Well, maybe the three of us can move it. Ah, true. Can it wait? We still have that ooey gooey traffic jam to clean up. If we don't help, no one will be able to come through the forest. <laughs> bingo, bingo. Party decorations. We need to move this tree right now. <laughs> That's the spirit. It's too heavy. This isn't working. Time for some wish help. To the wishing tree. Z. Oh, happy birthday, True. I uh, wasn't expecting to see you until your party. The party will have to wait, Z. There was some kind of earthquake. Yeah, we felt it up here, too. It knocked over trees in the never-ending forest, and no one could get around. And there's a sticky situation in Rainbow City. A sticky, gooey situation. And it's causing a huge traffic jam. Oh, that does sound serious. Let's sit and have a think. OK, 
Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first we need to get the trees back upright in the never-ending forest. Yeah, and let's not forget, they're super heavy. Then we have to get the gooey glob off the Rainbow City streets. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. <laughs> wishing tree. Wait till you see what the Wishipedia says about these. First up is Lifto. Lifto! This wish is incredibly strong. It can lift anything you place on top of it. Just give it a spin. Wow! Lifto, you can help us get all the trees standing again. Lifto! And next we have... Pumpa! Pumpa! This wish can blow air into anything, like a flat tire. Or a balloon bouquet. Pumpa! Or a giant gooey glob like the one causing the traffic jam. Maybe Pumpa can blow it into a bubble and float it away. Pumpa! Oh, you're gonna love this one. Meet Kakaraka, one of the most powerful wishes of all. Kakaraka! Kakaraka is a bursting wish that can help break large things into smaller pieces. Wow! I'm not sure how I can use Kakaraka just yet, but I'm sure it'll be a blast. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks, Z. Bye, Z. Good luck, you two. We're back. Thanks for waiting. Let's see if we can move these trees off the road for you. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Lifto. Wish come true. Hey, ho, Lifto. <laughs> see all those fallen trees? <laughs> we need you to lift them back up again. Which will clear the path and allow everyone to get where they need to go. <laughs> Oh, I'm just excited about getting people moving again. Go and taking care of my beautiful skin. Uh-oh. Hi, everyone. True. thank goodness. I don't think I can eat any more of this delicious goo. Okay, time for my second wish. Giant glob has really gooed up our friends. Ready to help clean it up? Boomba! 
Great! I bet we can blow a huge bubble out of that goo. Pump of power, go! Oh, yay! <laughs> Boom! Thanks, Pumpa. That really blew me away. Now back in the back. Thanks, Drew. See you later. You're welcome. Bye! Well, I was hoping you wouldn't need to do any of that hero stuff today, but you took care of that pretty easily. I did, didn't I? Hey, Griselda! Ugh. True! I wish you the most happy birthday! Ah! Aw! Thanks, Griselda! May I please talk to Bartleby about nothing to do with cakes? Sure thing! <laughs> okay, what is it, Griselda? Bartleby! This cake is not doing what I told it to do. Stay! No! Cake. The words bad and cake are not something I want to hear. What's going on? Well, it turns out more is not always better. The Stronilla cake layer is a bit bigger than I expected. Like, oops, it's so big we're going to be eating cake for a week? More like, oops, it's too big for the oven. And the kitchen? And maybe the house? Ah, come quick, I'm not sure I can hold this much longer. Huge, totally on purpose birthday cake. B, you shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. Uh, that'll be for me. Bartleby, the strangest thing just happened. I'm suspended in this scrumptious vanilla sponge cake. I've been stuck in a traffic jam before, but never a traffic jelly. This cake is going straight to Fruki's obedience school. I Hi, B. Hi, True. Hmm. There might be a small problem with the party. Oh, you mean that giant birthday cake that fell over on Mushroom Town and has all our birthday guests stuck inside the delicious ooey gooey icing? Uh huh. That wasn't part of my plan. True, I hate to ruin your day, but I think I really need your help now. It's okay, B. Helping people is my favorite thing to do. Oh, Cumulo! Hi, Cumulo. We've got a cake problem. To the Mushroom Town. This cake is huge! And it looks delicious, too. Should we just eat our way through? Because I'd be okay with that. Well, as yummy as that sounds, it might take too long. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Kakaraka! Wish come true! Hi, Kakaraka! We have a giant cake problem. We need your help. Kakaraka! Ready, Kakaraka? Kakaraka! We're rooting for you, Kakaraka! Okay, now wait for my signal. On my count. Three, two, one. Kakaraka! And besides, you don't even have a cake! Bartleby, I had the most incredible day! Mostly because I got to spend it with you. I love the picnic and the ice cream lunch, and I love my outfit! Everything you did today came from your heart, and that made this the best birthday ever! Huh? What? Cake! It's raining cupcakes! I don't 
think anyone's had a birthday party like this before. Kakaraka! Way to go, Kakaraka! Zoo zip zap wishes in my pocket. <laughs> party ever, and it's all thanks to Bartleby. Great job, Bartleby! Ah, shucks. Thanks, True. You deserve it. True? Hey, where'd you go? And now for your birthday entertainment. Whoa. 